Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, to the realm of bizarre news. I'm your host, Dr. Franklin Rule, and we start off with a trivia question. Let me extricate here from its paper prison. The question, Harry Houdini claimed that he was born in Appleton, Wisconsin, but he was actually born in which European country? Multiple choice, inverse alphabetical order. Was that Romania, Poland, Hungary, or Germany? I'm the prize, the only prize for the correct answer. One pat on the back. Heck of a lot better than a slap on the belly with a wet trout. Now, Houdini was born in 1874 in Europe, came to America at age four, and developed an intense interest in magic. At 17, he began a magic show that lasted for five years. He was moderately successful with it, but wanted to sell his equipment. Indeed, put an ad in the paper to sell his equipment for $20, but there were no takers. Lucky for him. Because then he developed the Challenge Act, where he claimed he could extricate himself from any pair of handcuffs, and that catapulted him to worldwide success. He went to England and made a deal with Scotland Yard to use their handcuffs for publicity in exchange for spying on Russian and German terrorists while on tour. When he returned to America, he made a similar deal with the Chicago police to use their handcuffs in exchange for spying on American counterfeiters. He's making enemies everywhere. Then his beloved mother died, and he went from one seance to another, hoping to make contact. But because he had practiced being a medium himself, he saw their tricks and began exposing them, making enemies among the spiritualist community. Then, in 1926, he and his wife suddenly became deathly ill, possibly from poisoned food. He, she went into the hospital. He continued working but fractured his ankle on stage. Then there's the famous case where a collegian came into his dressing room and punched him in the stomach. He claimed that he could sustain any type of punch in the stomach as long as he could First of all, tense his muscles, but didn't have a chance there. Then two days later, in a hotel lobby, the same thing happened. A stranger punched him in the stomach, and that gave him fatal peritonitis. Now, were those hit men literally hired by spiritualists, terrorists, or criminals? It's a possibility. Now, he died on Halloween, 1926, at the age of 52. He made a pact with his wife that he'd attempt to return from beyond the grave using a secret coded message, which was Rosebell Belief. Psychic Arthur Ford claimed that he interpreted that message. His wife believed it, but others are skeptical. We still don't know. Now for the trivia question. Again, which country was Houdini born? Romania, Poland, Hungary, or Germany? You say Poland? No, it was Hungary. His real name, Eric Weiss. Now here's a baseball cap. Recently, the LA Angels lost to the Dodgers in an interleague game, one to nothing, despite pitching a no-hitter. No hits for the Dodgers, and they lost. Very unusual. Fast forward two weeks later, July 10th, against the Oakland Athletics, they won a game in 11 innings, 11 to 10, yielding 20 hits. So it's so unusual. It's only happened once before in the history of baseball when a team loses a no-hitter the same season they win a game where they give up 20 hits. That team, 1992 Boston Red Sox. Unbelievable. Now here is a tick. And on a flight from Denver to Des Moines, a woman in economy class screamed when she saw a little tick and the flight was delayed six hours while they hunted for other ticks. Now I think the passengers should have been given an opportunity to vote on this. I certainly would have voted to continue the flight. Who's afraid of a little tick? Ouch! Ooh! Now let's open up the vault of strange deaths here. What do we have? The angry wife. This is a gal in St. Petersburg, Russia. Her husband was drunk on the sofa bed. She was so infuriated, she kicked the lever that caused it to crush him to death. Yes, he was crushed to death by the sofa bed collapsing on him. So, guys, if your wife is angry at you and you're in a sofa bed, get up quick. We can't afford to lose even one of you out there. You're our precious viewers. Thank you. Now, until next time, may the power of the cosmos be with you. Yes, yes, yes. And stay off those sofa beds if you have an angry wife.